Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Road Rash on the Sega Master System, released in 1993 by US Gold. Look, there you go. If you're from the United Kingdom, had a Commodore or a Spectrum, pretty sure you know who US Gold is, and also a Master System. Um, obviously, it's actually developed um, by Pro, based on the original EA game that was released on the uh, the Freedio in '91, which is my favourite version. It was also released on the PlayStation. There's a there's a Sega CD version. Oh my God! I've washed my mouth out with soap. Um, because I'm English, a Mega CD version, but it's you know it, it's just one of the most famous games out there. It was a unique concept at the time because it took your standard sort of racing format that said, "Hey, wouldn't it be really fun to twat people, you know, uh, and have like an effect upon the outcome of your race that wasn't just like you know." gunning the tits off your bike so it's a series of races you can punch your opponents in the face you can use weapons i've never played this version before so you know bear with me but on my favorite version of 3do you can you know you earn money you can upgrade your bike it, it's an absolutely fantastic game i absolutely love and adore you know road I'm gonna say road rage now that's what i get when i drive with all the ditch you drive 40 in a fucking 60. sorry yeah, I love and adore this game, and I've never played this version, but I hear really, really good things about it. How it's going to play with just two buttons, I honestly don't know. Because let's be honest, there are a few, you know, amazing sort of, you know, racing games on the Master System, such as Outrun and, you know, and stuff like that, that really takes advantage of limited hardware and gives you a decent <clears throat> sort of speed and road effect. But most of the sort of into the screen driving games that you would call sprite scalers on Sega Master System are bloody stinkers. Right, so let's give this a go. Right, so never played this before. No Scooby whatsoever what the controls are. It may look a little bit funky. I have so much trouble getting my camera to, you know, record Master System games. But yeah, anyway, bloke pushing some other bloke off on a bike pretty much sets up the premise of the game. Right, so start options. What are the options? Right, let's see. Uh, pass. Ah, so obviously you can save your progression. Sign of X, place. Whatever. I just want to punch people in the face and ride. Right, come on. Right. Hey, at least in this version, I don't have to worry about, you know, soundtrack and stuff like that in those epic, but, you know, cheesy cutscenes. Right, start race. Right, like, I don't know what the controls are. Right, so some of these jerks would rather, sorry, not the mecca, would rather uh, fight than race. Watch yourself out there. My God, it sounds like Friday night in Bristol. But that's just it. It's so much fun to do either. You can be competitive and just, right, so that's accelerate. And that's punch. What's break? Do I have a break? Press down on the D-pad. Nope. Do I? Oh, do I just let go? Of, do I just? I just let go of accelerate, don't I? Nice. Now obviously you can ram them or you can punch them. I'm guessing. Now do I have a kick? Oh shit! I don't know what the fuck happened there, but right off the bat, I have to say the road effects are really, really impressive. Unlike my punching people in the face skills, which are quite weak. Although, leather, leather gloves on your hand or not, you know, in your big fat biking suit, wouldn't punching someone in the face in a crash helmet ultimately hurt you more than them? I don't know. Maybe we should go with ramming. That's the logic I always took, even though it didn't really affect it on the 3DO version. Ooh, car! Very small car. Must be a compact. It must all be green. Um, that's the kind of logic I took on the uh, <clears throat> 3DO version. And I also have on the PlayStation, essentially the same game. Because I always thought that kicking them propelled them more to the side than it does with punch. But if we don't have kick in this, ooh, got air, uh, got windy pops. Um, then, ah, yeah, fuck you. Punching them will probably do the same. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed with these road effects. They're so smooth. And the, the cross road effects there are epic beans. Now, you've got health down below. Yours is on the bottom left. On the bottom right, I guess, would be the. Um, the guys you ride by. Hey, yeah, check it out. My my speedo's got a mileometer in the middle. Never noticed that before, right? You got wing mirrors on your left and right, which are pretty much you could get away with just having one, but they're trying to make you feel like you're on a bike. Nice attention. Come on. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Ruined my throat there with my lust for punching people in the face. Where's my Where's my position? I can't see my position. Is that at the bottom beneath my time? Oh, it's Biff. I want to punch Biff of what what horrible things he did to uh, Lorraine Gray. And Back to the Future. 
before George saved her. Right, come on, let me punch someone. Oh shit, don't ram them. That's not good for your speed. Doesn't that make the descriptive term ramming speed contradictive? I don't know, right. Lots of people say the music on this game is really good. I suppose it is compared to other Master System games, but Master System is not renowned for its music. Right, but hey, at least it's better than Atari 2600 and 7800. Come here. Oh shit, I am really crappy. Oh, I don't know how I missed that bloody car there. I should ride into a car so I can see what the effect is when you get twatted in this game like the other versions. But yeah, come on. I'm really crap at twatting people and being violent. Nice! I guess in punches is as effective as a kick. Well, they do say a change is as good as a rest. I'd like to try a level that's not so dark and green is a comparison, but so far, right, really, really impressed. Is there a distance gauge? Oh, the time is not... Oosh! Ah! No cars coming from left or right. Oh, bollocks. Oh, you got to run back. That's cool. Oh, you got to run back. Mega Drive version is absolutely amazing, by the way. It may not be as good. Obviously, it's not as good as the um, 3DO version. But uh, considering it was on a 16-bit you know, system, and obviously, at the time when it came out of the 3DO, it set a new standard, and it blew everyone's, including mine, uh, tiny little minds. And I remember my brother had his 3DO back in the day, and I was so chuffed to bits that I got to, you know, yes, in your face bitch uh, to play and it's one of those games that the first time you played it always left a lasting, uh, you know, a lasting impression on you but yeah there's no denying you've not played it on the Mega Drive get out there and try it it's a really good solid port and fun really fun oh right I like this pack for like many mass system games ooh that's a little bit weavy Slater right um, you're basically your skidding noises that of being paged in the 80s oh does anyone else remember pages and 90s to some degrees. And I knew someone uh, in the early 2000s who had one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Right, so do you just have to keep whacking them in the face? Which, don't get me wrong, I've got no problem with that. Or can you put them into a sign so they get taken out? Like me, because otherwise it's not a fair playing rain and not cricket. And I don't like that. Right. Obviously you have obstacles as well on the road. Are, are there cops in this version? I don't know, because obviously you can nick the cops' weapons. And also you, in the other versions, you can nick the other opponents, which is kind of a, a question of timing when they go to hit you and you punch them straight back. Yay! Finished! What's my position? Third? I tell you what, I'm not going to laugh at those apples. That's quite, you know, impressive. Oh, campfire! Are you all my friends now? Yeah, quite impressive because like I've never played it before. Right, oh, you can tune your bike in this then. How much money have I got? Anyway, I just want to give you a really, really quick gameplay uh, and flavour of Road Rash on, it's going to say the ZX Spectrum. Um, hey, it would have been awesome if they used Ocean Chase HQ game engine, but I'm really, really, really impressed with this. Uh, after this video, I'm going to persevere so I can see some sort of, you know, variant in the background graphics and, you know, yeah, having fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.